Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's class. Today, we are going to continue lesson seven. Now, let's take a look at the notes. The first, how do we speak this word? Hai. He ai hai. The pinyin is hai. So here, the explanation is it indicates the continuation of an action or a state. Its negative form is hai mei. The pinyin is he ai hai me ai mei hai mei. So now let's look at these three examples. The first is ba dian lo. Ta hai zai shui jiao. Ba dian lo, which means eight o'clock, right? And if we add a lo at the end of this part, which means it's already ba dian. It is already eight o'clock. It represents a very a little bit unsatisfied feeling. So it's already eight o'clock. Of course, we can also add 已经 already to make this part as a um, stronger emotion expression. So it's eight o'clock. 他还在睡觉。睡觉 means sleep, sleeping. So he is still sleeping. So hi here um, can be used as are still doing something to express a stronger feeling that, oh gosh, he's still sleeping. It's already eight o'clock. And then let's take a look at the second example. 你怎么还没吃饭? 吃饭 is it, right? Uh, 怎么? Here we have learned that it's like a asking a reason like why. So why are you still not eating? So why haven't you eat? Why haven't you at uh, eaten? So here is the negative hai mei. So it's like oh my, oh my god, it's already so late. You haven't eaten anything like this feeling. And then the example number three is from our text in the previous lesson. 他还在教室学习呢。在教室 means in the classroom, right? 在, it's in a location, at a location. So he is still learning in the classroom. So we can... um. We can see hi as still, still doing something in the English expression. All right, so number two is chu. So here, uh, the pinyin is ziyu chu. Ziyu chu chu. So it is used to emphasize uh, the speaker the speaker thinks something happened early or went fast or went well. So we've learned that it, so it's like a confirmed or a very positive thinking that it will definitely happen or they, it, they are already happened very fast, very early. For example, 同学们, which means the classmates. 同学们,七点半就来教室了。so it indicates uh, uh, 7.30, it's very early, but the classmates, they are already, already there, they are already in the classroom. So it's more, um, how is it, a positive a compliment. So, oh, you're so early. And then the second one, 我坐飞机。一个半小时就到北京了。So I take a plate, it only takes one and a half hour, 一个半小时。One,一个半,half,半 is half. 一个半小时就到北京了。
which means I am emphasizing that, uh, in my opinion, it's really fast and it arrived on time. And then the third example, 我二十分钟就到. So we learned that in the previous text, this means uh, it only takes 20 minutes, I will arrive in 20 minutes. 就到, it's a very positive confirm that I am going to arrive in 20 minutes. So only 20 minutes, so give the um, listener this feeling. So only take 20 minutes, I'll be arrived. I'll, I will arrive. And then the first one, Li. The pinyin is Le Yi Li. We also have um a complex word when we are talking about Li, which is Zhu Li. It indicates the distance we can use for a place, a location, or time. So here we can oh, um we can even use for purpose. We take a look at these three examples together. The first, 我家离学校很远远 means far away, correct? 学校 is the school, so my home is far away from the school. The second one, 学校离机场有二十多公里二十多公里 means 公里 is kilometer, kilometer can also say as 千米 so there are more than 20, less than 30 kilometers from school to the airport. The first sentence, 离我的生日还有一个多星期呢. So it's, um, here is describing a time just distance. So there are one more week from my uh, birthday. And here the the opinion is no. So here we are used to at the end of um statement sentence. It's not a question symbol over here. If we use in a statement sentence, it's um how to say so here is yes a confirm effect or coming someone in a exaggerative. So you are a bit excited, you are a bit excited to say something. For example, ah, uh, uh, this is so beautiful. We know that so pretty, so pretty, so beautiful is 很漂亮, oh, right? So, 这个真漂亮呢? Uh, so, 真漂亮, 这个非常漂亮呢? For example, we take a look uh, at this free sentence. The first is 八点上课, 时间还早呢? 时间, we've learned this is the time. It's a general uh, loan from the time. 八点, 8 o'clock, 上课, the class begin. So the class begin is 上课. What about the class end? 下课. Correct, 下课 is the uh, end of the class. 八点上课, which means uh, the class begin at 8 o'clock. 时间还早呢? So it's still early with the no at the end of the sentence. Uh, I'm showing myself very proud of it, uh, very true of it. So uh, it's just early. We still have a lot of time. Maybe it's right now it's some sometimes at six o'clock, then it's still two hours, then eight o'clock. So it will have such kind of feeling if we add the no in a statement. So let's take a look at the second sentence. 医院离我们这儿还远呢? 医院, the hospital, right? 离, we have learned that we are talking about distance. 我们这, where we are, here we are. 这 is here, 还远呢? 
high is um so it's still far away some still feeling still and then the first one we saw this sentence in the text before so which means to take the bus you need you take one one more hour one a bit more than one hour so more than one hour but less than two hours all right exercise the first question is this is a question from the text remember it so we can say ah no. It's totally fine that to add no as a statement, as an answer. Remember, we just learned from um uh, over here from on top of this textbook. And then the second question, it's also a question in the text, so it's quite easy. 九点多了, so why, Debbie, um, doesn't still doesn't take a break? So probably Da Wei Zai Jun Bei Kao Shi. Remember, prepare the exam. Okay, the question number three. So, Gong Gong Chi Chu, Yi Ge Xiao Shi, Neng Dao Gong Si Ma. Yeah, this is a yes or no question, so we can either say yes, 是的, and then repeat, repeat this question. 坐公共汽车一个小时能到公司? Stop. Or we answer, we have a negative answer. 不是, 不, 坐公共汽车一个小时不能到公司? The bu it's used over here. We use bu here. We didn't use mei. It's a bit hard to tell uh, when to use bu, when to use mei, because it's more like a um, intuition. So when you have in love sentence, when you learned in love uh, paragraphs, sentence text, you will know directly it's um it's time to use bu with the verb or it's the uh, expression to use may with the verb or adjective to express this negative statement. So here we use bu, bu neng, bu neng here. All right, the question number four. 公司离家里, sorry, 公司离家很远, 他为什么不开车? So 公司, the company, 离家很远, it's far away from home. 她, she, why? Why doesn't she 不开车? Why doesn't she drive the car? So you can of course say, uh, 路上车太多了, remember? That's from the text. So on the road, there are too many cars. All right, so question number five. 今天不是她的生日。which means today is not her birthday. 为什么他朋友要今天给他过生日? Yeah, it's based on the dialogue. So it's every question. Every question is based on the text. I just figure it out now. So yes, 为什么? The answer will begin with 因为, 因为 because 因为, 他朋友要去北京. Uh, that's from the text. All right, so now let's take a look at the exercise number three. 两点多了,他还... So she is still not sleeping at two o'clock. 她还没睡, here, We use 没 here to express the negative she hasn't slept here. 睡 is 睡觉. We can of course say 他还没睡觉 or 他还没睡. They are the same. 
but we use may. We we will not use bu in when we talk about she hasn't slept in this sentence. Alright, so next, 下课了,同学们还在, so the classmate stood, 他们还在教室, in the classroom, 或他们还在学习, so if we use 在 with a uh, location is exactly physically in somewhere in this location, if we use zai with a verb together, is the um the situation they are doing. So they are still learning. Xuexi is learning, right? Studying. So this zai we can use. We can not only use with the location, but we can also use it with a situation with a verb, which means that the situation is actioning is on. All right, the first question here, Li. Ah, here, all right. Oh, oh, sorry, it's it's birthday, it's yeah. Li. So it's birthday, which is 生日, Abba. Uh, sorry, but whose birthday? You have to say someone's birthday. For example, my birthday. So it should be, 我的生日,离我的生日还有一个多星期呢. Alright, so now let's take a look at the last one. 我家学校不太远, so here is talking about the distance, right? So uh, my home, school, not too far, here is the same, 离. Oh, not this one. So that's the reason I always recommend to try to um, remember the character, try to, you, you don't have to learn exactly how to write them down, but it's always super helpful and very meaningful to know what, which character you are going to choose, right? So if I tie a pinyin, on the keyboard, no matter on the computer or on your phone, on the phone. So I know exactly which word I'm going to choose and that's the correct word expressing the correct meaning. And it will be this one. So I know exactly it will be this one. So without the pinging, I still know what the meaning of the character. So that is also um on here. This is something that I always repeat. Please, please, please try your best to read a lot and then um, cover the pinyin. Just read the character to practice your brain to recognize those Chinese characters. All right, then the pronunciation. This one is quite interesting because they are exactly the same. Only if we practice in the in the Exaggerated emotion, a questioning emotion, it means a question. If we say it very peacefully, calmly, it's a statement. So that's so easy. You you will know that in English, right? So that's exactly the same in Chinese. You don't have to choose, uh, you don't have to change the position, the structure of the sentence. You can use such exaggerating emotion to express, ah, this is a question. Or this is a confirmed statement. All right, so let's practice it first. 他姓张. 他姓张. 他不喜欢喝啤酒. 他不喜欢喝啤酒. 啤酒 is beer, drinking beer, 喝啤酒. 姓 means the family name. So um, is the family name Zhang? So his family name is Zhang. All right, so here, xing xing, wu ang wang, feng ang feng, shi o shou, 
Good job. And then application. So here are the example. 机场离我家非常远. 我坐出租车去机场. Which means the airport is far away from my home. 非常远. Far away. So I take taxi to airport. We are going to use this example words to make a sentence of our own. For example, I want to say, um, 学校 is close to 饭馆. I can 走路. How do we say that? So, 学校, the school is very close to the restaurant. I can walk there. I can walk to 学校. We are going to say 学校离饭馆非常近。我走路去学校。Very good. So what about the 商店, the store, the shop is, is far away from it's a little bit far away. We have learned this a little bit far away from the hospital, the 医院. We, not I, but we take bus, 公共汽车, to go to the hospital. How can we say that? So first, 商店. 离医院 a little bit, a little bit. 有点远. Remember this? 有一点, 有点, 有点远. We, 我们, 坐公共汽车去医院. Very good. So you are going to use these two words and take um, public transport. How could you go there? Uh, that's for your homework, all right? Good work. So here we are going to learn about the 生日, the birthday. We have learned date before. So which month, which day, or which year, which month, which day. Here is 我的生日是 二月二十二号，生日的时候，我常和朋友去吃饭。So during the birthday 的时候，的时候，我常 which means often 常常常 or 常 they are the same with friend. Go eating. So you can make up your own sentence. Um, when is your birthday? How do you celebrate this? You go out to eat with whom? Or uh, you go to watch a movie? Or you will eat cake? So you can make up your own sentence. All right. So we, we finished lesson seven. Great job. We are going to take uh, 10 more minutes to look at um, exercise book for lesson seven. And next class, we will start lesson eight. So we are going to finish this high school two book very, very soon. But first, first thing for, first thing of everything is you have to practice, you have to repeat, you have to like repeat each knowledge, each speaking, each pronunciation we have learned so that you can really know, uh, you can really reach out to the level has to. Okay, and then we are going to take a look at, um, at the exercise book, lesson, lesson seven. So please, uh, 
try your best to finish every part of the exercise book, even though the character, so you are going to practice how to write them down. Uh, you are going to learn more about the radical for this. You are going to learn more about the meaning without pinyin. You are going to learn, you are going to use your pencil and write every character down. Please always remember the order is always from the top to the bottom, from the left to the right. And then, yes, that's lesson seven. So we are going to take a look at the reading. So please also finish the listening by yourself. All of those, all of those exercises are very important. Please do not ignore them. All right, so the reading part, the picture is not so clear in my ebook. Let's take a look at the other. At the other exercise, is this difficult? This is a bit difficult, right? So today we are going to try part four for the reading part. So first, it's going to match the sentence to make the dialogue. Here there's an example already. He is uh Tahai which means yeah. So here is the answer. We are going to find the question. The example will be 你看见他了吗? So this is from the text lesson seven. And then now those are the questions, right? We are going to find out the answer. The first 大卫回来了吗? 回来 means come back, come back. Correct. So you really have to know the meaning of each word. Otherwise, you have no idea what is the question about. And this is a yes or no question. Asking if David come back. Uh, is Does David come back or did David come back? And then, yeah, we find something. We find it, we find it. Should be, should be A, 还没有呢? 还没回来, it should be a, a negative answer saying Devi hasn't come back. All right, so number two, 你现在在哪呢? 在哪 is the question symbol, which means where, correct, asking about the location. And then we are going to find where am I now? So not this one, not this one, not this one. This is already taken. 我在去机场的路上. What does this sentence mean? We have learned this. I am on the way to the airport. To the airport. Remember we learned that in the last lesson? Now you can feel that that's something more complicated, more difficult, because if you are still a, like, like a very beginner in Haska 1, asking where are you, we are going to say, ah, 我在学校, 我在家, right? I am at, I'm exactly at the location. But now you see, I am on my way to the airport. Can you see there's a slightly difference? There are something more difficult for you now, but you will still understand it. So you are doing a very good job. This is, I'm on my way to the airport. So this is also the answer um, to the question, where are you now? So I'm on my way to some somewhere. So it's many actions. There is an action in an answer with the location. Okay. The number three. 你为什么不坐公共汽车去公司? The question symbol is why, but actually we take a little bit more look at this question symbol. It's why not, right? 为什么不? Why not? Why? Why don't you? 
坐公共汽车 take bus to company. All right, so there's something about 公共汽车 The answer is quite obvious. So B is giving a reason why because so it here the sentence ignored because but you can still tell it's the B is talking. Uh, I'm sorry. This person is still answering the reason because or without because taking a bus too slow. 坐公共汽车太慢了。So I don't take buses to the company. All right, the uh next. 我今天很累，不想做饭了。我们出去吃吧。Wow. So, okay. So it's a real conversation. It's not just like an interview. Ask and answer. Ask or an answer. It's a real conversation now. Your friends told you that oh, 我今天很累 What does it mean? I am so tired today. 我今天很累，我不想做饭了 I don't want to cook. 做饭，做 is make. 饭 is rice. But we also use 饭 as a、um, dish. For example, 晚饭 means dinner. 午饭 means lunch. Breakfast is 早饭 ，remember it? So、oh, I don't want to cook. I'm too tired. Let's go out to eat. So 出去 go out. And then what are you going to say if you heard your friends talking this to you is、uh, having such、um, invitation or suggestion to you? So now we are going to take a look at those options. I'm not mentioning something 学校 no. It's not ta. It's not 公共汽车 Oh, here there's a 饭馆 which means a restaurant. And then we take a deeper look at this whole sentence. 我们家前面有一个小饭馆，走几分钟就到了。去那儿吃吧。Which means ah,、uh, there is 有 there is a small restaurant. 前面 in front of our home. Hmm. On foot, walk by walking takes a few minutes. 就到了 arrive 就 just arrive. 去 go there to eat. So this. This conversation is is so well matched with this conversation, right? Great job. And then the last question: 你家离学校远不远 All right, mention something. 家学校 We are going to find a keyword if there is those keyword in the in the answer. So it will be this one. Ah,、uh, it's mentioning something about 学校 the school. So、uh, take a look. 不远 Hmm. Here, ask 远不远 It's a yes or no question. Either yes, 远 or 不远 right? So it's so perfect. 不远我每天走路去学校 I 每天 every day 走路 by walking walk to 去 go 学校 So I walk to school every day. Oh, this is a perfect answer. So the last one will match with the Option C. So that's how we, uh, we do such exercise, and this will be also showing in your high school exam. So I always, uh, emphasize that exercise book is always very important. Please finish each lesson after we finish the textbook over here. And yes, that's so far for today. So pronunciation. So in lesson eight, we are going to take a look those pronunciation exercise, character exercise. Those are also very interesting. They are not difficult at all. Just just practice it for fun. All right. So whenever you find it interesting, you find it fun, you will learn new things very very fast.
So yes, so don't, please don't, do not ignore the exercise book. And in next lesson, we are going to start lesson eight. We are almost finished. The, we, we will almost finish the Pascal too. So it's a great milestone here. All right, so that's all for today. And I hope you enjoy today's class and see you next time. Bye.